Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing something extremely useful for students as well as parents who are trying to make one of the most important decisions that is choosing the right engineering college. First, we're going to talk about 10 things that you must check before you choose an engineering college, whether it is your dream college or just a backup. The first thing to check is does your college have an industry ready curriculum? Often it can happen that your college has a curriculum that is outdated and is just based on theory that helps you write your exams but it does not prepare you for the real industry out in the world. So check whether your college gives importance to coding, gives importance to building projects, integrating with hackathons and things like that. And also is the syllabus helping you gain more knowledge and update your skills in different programming languages rather than just learning basic theory. Talking about projects, the second thing to check is does the college offer hands-on physical exposure? For example, my college had a SEER department which is called Center for Engineering, Education and Research and here for three semesters we got to think of ideas and innovations that we were asked to build by ourselves. So whether it was software or hardware, we got to apply our skills. Similarly, based on the colleges you're thinking of applying to, you can check whether the colleges offer a space where you can apply your skills and they encourage you to think more innovatively and to build projects, whether software or hardware, because that will only help in strengthening your core skills. The third thing that you can check are what are the skill pathways that the colleges are offering? Like, are you getting the courses that you want or are you getting the specialization that you want? Or does the college offer you the choice to choose a minor degree that you might want in the future? All of this plays an important role. The fourth thing to check is what is the mentorship and guidance like in these colleges? Do the teachers teach well? Are they well qualified? Do they offer personal mentorship when you require it? What language do they teach in? And what empathy they hold for the students? You can ask previous students that have passed out for their experience and also check on Google to find out what the teaching is like in these colleges because teaching plays an important Important role on whether you even want to listen to the subject or not as well as that you can also check what is the class size or the batch size of a particular branch that will help you understand how personalized your teaching is going to be and also how competition is going to be during your placements the sixth thing that you can check is what is the recognition of your degree this goes hand in hand with placements because companies are not going to come to your college if it is not recognized there there are hundreds of colleges out there and not every college has the same value it is important so that your certificate or your degree is just not a piece of paper with no value the next thing to check is internship and job opportunities this is very important because your future lies in this since if you're getting an on-campus placement you need to have good companies coming in and good internship opportunities as well so you need to check does the college have a good training and placement team do they offer training that helps you do well in aptitude as well as coding rounds for interviews and do they have good companies companies coming in what is the placement record for the previous batches placements are changing every year and you don't know what will happen in the next four years at the end it is you who has to crack the job but it would be even worse if you don't get the opportunity to get a job so it is important that you check the placement record so that you choose a college wisely that will give you enough opportunities in the future what are the hackathons competitions and events hosted by your college because you want your overall growth when you go to a college that includes going for coding competitions improving your tech skills improving your speaking skills communication all of that so you can check what is hosted by your college like hackathons or MUNs or competitions like art, speaking, debating, things like that will help you see whether you're truly going to grow in that college or not. 
another thing that you can check which is similar are what are the student clubs and communities you can see what different cultures students come from what is the kind of environment that your college provides for the students and what different clubs you can be a part of like my college had clubs for photography for dance for music and for literature so being a part of clubs is a very important um, you know experience and feeling of college that you should not miss out on so when choosing a college this is another thing you might want to see is what is the infrastructure of the college like this is very important to me because i feel like if you're going to college and you have to go you might as well enjoy going there so for me having high tech labs good classrooms clean bathrooms as well as grounds open spaces and places where you can hang out as well are very important and they also help in building up your college experience so checking the infrastructure is an important thing that you should do based on all of the factors i asked you to check in this video ranking is given to a college and that helps you see the college's reach and reputation so these rankings will help you understand where the college stands it does not have to be in the top 10 but if you check its previous rankings over the years and you see that the college has been growing that means that it is a good option and that the college is heading in the right direction Sadly, in most traditional colleges, there is 20-year-old syllabus being followed. None of this is implemented. There is no practical exposure, no industry connections, and students leave the college with a degree but with no direction. And that is why I am going to introduce you to Next Wave Institute of Advanced Technologies. In order to provide industry-aligned education for students, 10-plus universities have collaborated with NIAT. So students will receive a UGC-approved certificate from the college they are enrolled in. Apart from that, they will also receive an industry-ready certificate from NIAT, and that certificate is recognized by more than 3,000 companies. So you don't just graduate with a BTEC from your college, but you also get a prestigious certification from NIAT which is recognized by 3000 plus companies and it reflects your industry aligned skills. They offer hands-on learning from day one itself, that's right, so you would be building drones, apps, projects and everything from your first year unlike traditional colleges where you wait till your third or your fourth year. They offer an advanced curriculum that is constantly updated based on what companies are looking for currently, whether it is artificial intelligence, data science, full stack or cybersecurity. Whatever is the current need in the industry, you will be learning those skills. They have regular boot camps, design challenges and workshops so students will not just be studying for their exams but they will also be innovating. They have many student clubs and peer communities like you can be a part of a coding club or a drone squad or in building an app there are many opportunities. Apart from that, the mentorship is amazing because you will be mentored not just by your professors, but also by engineers, tech leads and startup founders. So being mentored by them will help you imagine yourself in their shoes one day. It will also help you have the skills that really help them and can help you too. The best part is no matter what your goal is, whether you want to get placed or you want to go for higher studies or you want to build a startup, all of that is given mentorship and exposure that can help you reach the goal that you have. You can choose your college and the location that you want, but the NIAT certification will always have value and remain relevant. In fact, it is only their second year running, but their results speak for themselves. They've had more than 400 plus internships for first year students which is something very rare to see and the only reason this is possible is because they are training students to have skills that will help them in the real world industry if you want to know more about the program i will leave the official link in my description and you can check it out make a decision that will help empower your future so that's it for this video i hope it helped you open your minds to what you should be looking for and and if it did help, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time with another video. Bye!